What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Skinny Pedal Motorsports. Like I said in the last video, we're going racing this weekend. So we got the tow rig out. Got the car in the garage. We're going to get them both loaded up. We're headed to Steel, Alabama this weekend for streetcar takeover. And we're going to compete in the stick shift class. See if we can break our personal best of 11-1. Hoping to go 10s this weekend like last time. And hopefully we should be able to do it with that new Vengeance clutch. That thing's pretty stout. So yeah, let's get this thing loaded up. She's completely loaded up. We're gonna to head towards my brother's house and then to the racetrack. Well, we're here at Steel Raceway. We got our race bands. Get this thing unloaded, get it checked in. What's your pass tech? No, no what? No brace. Pass tech. Where you going? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go racing. Uh, we're testing tonight, so we're gonna go see if we can get this thing to go a little bit faster before we race tomorrow. Well, we're in the staging lanes, getting ready to go. Uh, let's hope I don't miss the one-two shift and uh, we'll slip the clutch good. Let's see how this new Vengeance Performance Clutch works. Got a little small problem. I guess I didn't tighten up this bolt good enough on the tank, and the tank almost come out. So we gotta get that fixed. Won't be a part problem. Just go to a part store real quick and go get us the bolt. I'm curious to see what that ran. It had to be going pretty dang good. It felt good. Well, we went 11.13. That is definitely the best 60 foot of 165. Um, Gotta add a little bit more boost to it, see if we can get it to that 10. It's only running on like 11, 12 pounds right now, so we're gonna turn it up. But we gotta fix that gas tank strap first. Lonely, oh so lonely. Well, we couldn't find a bolt here, so we're gonna hop to the store. We're gonna go to Advance and pick us up a bolt. Well, we picked up the parts. We're gonna get this thing fixed. I do want to remind you guys take too long. I gotta grab the toolbox. Well, we got it fixed. Two new bolts, two holes in the tank straps. She's good to go. That was my goof. I probably strapped them out or stripped the bolts out. See, so we're about to get this thing back in the lanes and go racing. A little bleep bloop, a little boost. And uh, yeah, we're gonna turn it up. It made about 10 pounds. We're gonna put it on 13. Look at that, a 1075, baby. Yes, I got it done finally. I don't know how much boost I made because I didn't log it. So we're just gonna leave it right there. It runs the sand on that boost. We're gonna leave it. I can't freaking believe it. I'm excited, next is nines. And we're gonna do that on the 85 the next time we come to the freaking track. All right, we're going back for another pass. Uh, actually gonna data log the boost and see how much it makes and hopefully go a little bit faster because I did short shift that last pass. I don't know if y'all can see me. But yeah, we're going back for another pass. I short shifted the last one and I want to data lock the boost and maybe go faster. So yeah, we're gonna hop in the lanes and throw another pass at it.
125. A little slower down on the mile prior, but I did find out how much boost it made. It was 12 pounds, which is about half a pound more than it made last time. So I think we're going to turn it up tomorrow and see what happens. Uh, we're going to compete tomorrow. We're done for tonight. So Y'all stay tuned. We'll be back here tomorrow. Take that back. We're actually going to go watch this like 17, 1800 wheel horsepower Viper from Vengeance Racing. Six second car. This thing's going to run. 640. No, it ain't quite that quick. <laughs> A little aggressive. But yeah, we're going to see what happens. Maybe we'll catch it with the drone. This is the Vengeance Racing Viper. It has a Steve Morris engine in it that makes about 3,000 horsepower. It runs low sevens at about 211 miles an hour. It's the third fastest car at TX2K last year. It's pretty insane. And I think it went like a seven second pass here. Time to pack it up, head to the house. Come back tomorrow. Well, we're back. Back at steel for compete actually in the stick shift class so we're gonna get the car unloaded hit the driver's meeting and then get to racing pretty packed yeah we're gonna get this thing unloaded and uh we should start racing about 3 30 or somewhere around there for eliminations we just have to wait on them to call us well time to go racing they just called us stick shift lane one we're gonna head up there and get ready to make our first pass of the day all right so what we're doing right here is actually drawing chips i got a number three and it was white and I got to pick my lane. And my opponent is actually this silver Corvette right here behind everybody. Oh, this is what we got to race. And it's about a 10 second car, so this should be a pretty good matchup. Hey, by the way, I'm uh, Thank you, man. Hopefully, we have a good race. Nothing bad happens. Here we're going to have a good time. We're to go make our pass. Well, we're in the lane, so we can make our pass. It's a Pro Charge Vet. So, yeah, this should be a pretty dead gum fun race. I think you said, like I said, it's run a 10. So, it should be a pretty good matchup. spun since I put these tires on so I was bound to bound to have one happen so yeah I don't even we probably went like a 12 because I really just got out of it once I spun but this is a fun event and stick shift racing is so much fun I, I'll never go back to an automatic but now well, that's the end of street car takeover we got it loaded on the trailer we about to hit the road y'all thanks for tuning in thanks for watching like I said we're coming back next week or the week after whenever I get a chance with E85 and we're gonna go to nine so tune in. We'll see y'all later. Well, nope. extra bonus content. Will Barron is toasting this thing, and uh, Will's going like this. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to unload the old street car. And guess what? She's got a hitch on it, baby. I ain't took the hitch off. So guess what? We're going to hook this freaking trailer right here. And we're going to haul this thing home. Not the truck. My brother's come to get the truck, but we're going to haul the trailer home with the freaking race car. Y'all stay tuned. Well, Cars unloaded. Bam's here. Gonna load the old Dirty Max behind the Dirty Max. Then we're hooking the race car to the race car hauler. And we're gonna pull with that thing. She's loaded up. We'll fix and put the car behind the trailer, like I said. Yeah, big girl and a big girl right there. Help long night. But yeah, we used the race car to tow the hauler back home because the truck was broke. That's the end of the video. We'll catch y'all on the next one.